Hey everybody, my name is Garrett Marigut, and I'm excited to chat with you today about business intelligence tools and kind of my journey in exploring the options that are on the market and uh, how you can use BI and what BI tool we chose and why. So at Directive, we have over 50 uh, search marketing consultants and one of the most important things we do is analyze data and try to determine based off that data, what should we do to kind of focus and impact key performance drivers for our clients. So whether that's you know on the paid search side, on the organic side, on SEO, or any type of campaign we're running where there's an API or there's a CSV export, we wanna be able to pull that data out of the platform in its native environment and pull it into a visualization tool so that we can start to unpack and find things that we've never seen before. And when you start to get more advanced, you can even blend things and start to see what happens across multiple channels and pull out data from each and make even better decisions. So what I did is I dove in to Power BI, Tableau, Google Data Studio, and Sysense. And I wanna break down each and kind of what we found so that hopefully you can make a better purchasing decision and save some time. So first, let's start with Power BI. Power BI was a very powerful tool. I liked it. Unfortunately, like my whole team here runs on MacBooks. So with that being in mind, uh, I had to spin up an AWS server and I had to install Windows onto that AWS server and then using Microsoft Remote, I would kind of go into that AWS server, get that live, go into Windows, download Power BI. And after actually all that, it wasn't that bad. So you could set it up pretty easily. So just because you have a MacBook doesn't mean you can't use Power BI. Now the pricing part of it was amazing. $9, super great. Now the problem with Power BI that I found, uh, the integrations are weak, um, so they don't have a bunch of native integrations that even go right into like Google Ads that allows you to pull out that data. So we didn't have that, which I didn't like. And frankly, I think the adoption rate, if I were to roll that out into my entire organization, would be poor. We do have two people here who are SQL developers that are fully dedicated to it, but even with their support and their help, I wasn't convinced that a consultant on their own could quickly and easily learn Power BI export or import data into it and make visualizations in a way that they would deem to be helpful to their current workflow. And because I thought they find it to be inefficient and too high of a learning curve, we didn't go that route, but it does seem like a great tool, very powerful, and at $9 a user, incredibly accessible price point. Next, I want to look at Tableau. Tableau is actually, I think, probably my favorite. Incredibly powerful, very enterprise feeling. You can tell that they have their reputation for a reason. Now, price is what kind of got me. At $75 a user, it was pretty steep price point to roll out across 50 licenses. Beyond that, there was a higher learning curve. Tableau is not nearly as simple as some of the option we went with actually at the end, which was get Google Data Studio. And so while Tableau was beautiful, was powerful, was quick, was you know, I, I found myself able to use fairly simply, could run on a MacBook, whether on the cloud or on a desktop. I, I loved all that. What I didn't love was the $75 price point. And then their native integrations with Google Ads, when I was actually directly importing the data from Google Ads into the platform, they were constantly using sum instead of aggregate, which was then ruining the data quality. And I, they have no support. The support line there was terrible nobody to chat with. And so if I couldn't figure it out and I like to think I'm pretty competent at least figuring out things, whether I you know, know what I'm doing or not right away, I spent almost literally eight hours in Tableau by myself going through every forum and support doc and I couldn't solve the data quality from the direct imports. Now, if you export reports from Google Ads and then import them into Tableau, uh, it works great. But the actual import API that they built in their native integration to Google Ads frankly, what was not was not good enough. And so at the $75 price point, without the perfect integration, I didn't love that setup. So lastly, I looked at Google. Well, then I went to Sysense. Sysense, we actually currently use to host dashboards for our clients. Now, unfortunately, from my dashboard experience, clients want dashboards. I want dashboards. Everybody wants dashboards because there's something kind of sexy and appealing about the idea of having just a dashboard in real time that has all your most pertinent KPIs like a scorecard. Unfortunately, from what I could see and what I've learned, because I have usage statistics across all 70 of our accounts, less than five accounts actually actively use their dashboards despite them being customly built and set up for them. 
And so with that in mind, I've realized that clients actually, they say they want dashboards, but they need reports. And unfortunately, Sysense from a reporting and ability to just do one-off reports as an individual consultant, the metrics aren't pre-built. So you'd have to actually build like cost per conversion and things like that. The API doesn't pull them right out. And once again, not as simple. Integration is not as easy. You have to run it straight through Google, um, like through a BigQuery instance, so through a SQL database, you have to do a create a data pipeline. When you put all this together, the overhead, the management, it, and frankly, the cost as well, it, it just wasn't as good as Tableau or Power BI uh, for reporting. And so, you know, I once again, at an individual level, so individual consultants couldn't just go in and build reports and sites as even easily as Power BI or Tableau. So lastly, I looked at Google Data Studio. It's the one we went with. Um, I love it, honestly. It's free. The integrations are seamless. It's fast. So I do highly recommend that. One of the cool things about Google Studio, Data Studio as well is their ecosystem, the marketplace. There's tons of already pre-built reports. Uh, literally since I rolled it out on um, Tuesday of this week, I've already had people building their own reports. I'm seeing the team already with a high adoption rate. So if you're looking to kind of get your consultants away from native reporting in the tools and into more of an analysis and visualizations, because remember, it's not just about the consultants getting the information, it's about getting the buy-in from your client or from your manager if you're in-house. And so one of the like my favorite recommendations is always to visualize your data, get it out of its native platform, get it into a tool like Data Studio, and then visualize it in a powerful way to get buy-in and to illuminate things that you might not have ever seen before. So based on all those platforms, my recommendation is Google Data Studio. Try it out. Uh, it's been amazing for us. Adding new data sources is seamless. The, the native integrations have all the right data. The metrics come built in. Big fan. So, you know, that's my analysis. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I uh, love the chat and uh, have a great day. Thanks.